Zach here from Gravel Bike California in the Angels National Forest, ready to bring you our third anniversary ride going up Pacifico Mountain. This is actually the second time we're doing this. Thank you, pandemic. But it's a special ride that I'm going to do over and over again. Now, there's about 4,000 feet of climbing in the first 13 miles. And it's going to be hot today, so we're glad we get that out of the way. From there on, oh, we're just going to get to enjoy the area. Why am I doing all this talking? Let's roll. <laughs> As this third anniversary ride was going to be a special one, a few of us tested out camping as an option for future rides, staying the night before at the Monte Cristo campsite, conveniently located a mile north from the start, getting us properly prepped for a fantastic day. Pacifico Mountain is an escape covering 38 miles just on the doorstep of Los Angeles. Beginning at the intersection of Angels Forest Highway and Upper Big Tahunga Canyon Road, we knew the heat was already formidable, but there are other strenuous factors at the get-go. Well, starting off here with a six and a half mile climb up to Mill Creek Summit. Nice, easy pace to begin. Gets a little bit pitchier at the top. Easy way to get elevation out early. We started seeing riders from Let's Go Cyclery's Swift Camp Out as we hit the turnoff to Pacifico Mountain Road. But being as temps were already in the 90s, restocking on H2O was a universal move as there was more vert on the way. Hitting Pacifico Mountain Road is our first taste of dirt. It's three miles, a little sandy in spots. It's a grind. At least when you get up, the switchbacks, much better views, and even Mount Gleason starts to peek out a little bit. It's a proper stopping point, as there's a shady stopping spot hitting the turn off to Granite Mountain. But with nine miles and 2,700 feet of gain so far, we weren't done with the climbing just yet. Now this is just a mile and a half section to the turn off to the top of Pacifico Mountain. But really, this is kind of like where the ride starts because it just gets to be so green, so uninhabited. Not LA. <laughs> Reaching this junction led into the final one and a half miles of this ascent, but you have to be ready at the get-go because the only let up is when you arrive at the peak. Now the climb to the top of Pisco Mountain is the hardest stretch of the day. It lingers around 9%, but it's actually more the fact that it's sandy, rocky, inconsistent, made me use a lot of verbiage. It was a difficult climb. If the sign doesn't signal you you're at the top, then this immense steepness serves as a clue too. But as soon as you apex, your effort leads to an earned break time in whatever way you need, as these unique views beyond the Angeles National Forest are clearly picture worthy, even getting myself into the act. What goes up must come down which is obvious reversing course, but as this appendage is the most technical part of the ride, getting a look at it first in one direction helps making this flow more with the other.
Returning back formally to Pacifico Mountain Road, we had a brief assemblage as the fun isn't done quite yet. With another three miles of descending, that thanks to cleanup efforts, gets smoother year after year. it hopefully won't be painfully obvious that it's time to dismount. But don't worry, as the nature of the ride won't change much. So we have a brief downhill interruption before we make it to Chilea. Now, it's a kilometer climb, itching to the top part of the single digits, but more importantly, you have to be careful for the turnoff you do not want to miss. Once again, we had another three miles of downhill, and we don't mind sounding like a broken record considering all the climbing we've already done. But the grade in this segment is far more tempered, keeping your speeds at bay, although our minds were on getting to water fast. Pulling into the fire station, we were stopping only at the halfway point mileage wise, which might make you question if there's enough water to last. But the second half is easier, and this group was riding well together, making our way through Chileal Campground and on to Angeles Crest Highway, which we rode for only seconds, returning us to dirt for one last time, utilizing the cut through up Mount Mooney which is one of my favorite secrets of the forest that was previously closed for two years due to the bobcat fire, as this mile and a half climb is just a little more taxing than riding the highway, but any opportunity to avoid high speed traffic on the two is a choice you should always make. Plus, how can you complain about the scenery with some shade at this point? Getting down is half the length of the climb, but you have to be aware of the middle section, which has always offered a variety of chunkiness to the whims of the seasons. But the group all laughed in the face of danger, successfully making our way back to the Angeles Crest Highway, which felt unusually quiet, as it never feels this tame on a weekend. But considering temps were nearing triple digits, Maybe there's no proper way to rationalize why we were out here. After stopping for one last climb on the two, it was 10 miles back. Most of it, a rocket of a downhill, as we turned onto Upper Big Tahunga Canyon Road. Now, I've done enough group rides here to know it's hard not to do anything but let it rip. And while I always tell people that you're not here to audition for Safa Brian, Everyone was prepped for having fun with speed. And Upper Big T is a quiet and ideally surface road to do it.
There's some lead up the last couple of miles with rollers and an occasional headwind. But I was surprised I reached 52 miles an hour rolling on 42s and more impressed that Jason took the KOM without any of us knowing there was one. But we all made quick work back and even a few hours under this weather, the smile still wore through. Normally the theme would be this ride is unbearable because of the heat. But I tell you, up here with the elevation, the wind, I don't know, you kind of forget about it a little bit. Maybe a little dry at the end, but Pacifico Mountain, such a great ride in so many different ways. And every time we come here, it's something new. If you're looking for more routes, go ahead and check out our gravel guides and help support us either on Patreon or through our shop. So we can bring you more. And stay dirt. <laughs>